Hi again, we've um, made an article about Areola conkeys and about graphical ones because we do need a special application which is uh, supporting these, these bars and linings and clocks and all that. So this is one of them, Aureola Salis has here this clock or measurement for the CPU and so on. Um, but then I saw that we had an article written with a wrong image. So I think it's better that I explain that as well. So when you go to Aureola, I had made a picture of uh, Gambo Deck Duo and, and, and one as well. So 12 legs and 11 legs, that's what uh, Gambo says, uh, legs and Deck is 10 and Duo is 2. So 12 legs and, and 11 legs. And as you can see, um, I've included already a lot of possible uh, logos and I'll include in the future even more. But uh, the thing is, how do we change it? Where should I change it? So first off, where, what, what should we do? We should install it, otherwise we can't really work on it. So we're going to get rid of everything that's at the moment inside of the config conky, which is Salis. That been done. Let's get out of here. Um, we need this and we see that we have this Linux Mint logo and we're on Arch Labs, so not a good idea. So the thing is now to find out where we should we change it. We go to the Conkey itself, so the where the Conkey is, this thing in the background is situated in the hidden file or folder .config slash Conkey. And we have this uh, two things. There's a Conkey file, which is just fine, but if you take a look at it, it's not that all this information can't be in there. So that's strange. Yeah? All the information can't be in here. By the way, keep following the colors, they change. Um, so what does it do? Well, it loads something. It loads a Lua file, a config conky main Lua file. And it's going to start up here and, and hook there and so on, all technical stuff. But the thing is, you need the main Lua. Okay, where is this main Lua? Let's go and find it. Here it is. So right mouse click, do check out what you want it to open with, Genie or Sublime Text. And the one that you like better, in, in like, like for instance this one with all these colors, it's quite nice to quickly see the variables that um, you need. It's set to Lua here, as you can see, and you should be able to do so in, in an editor, otherwise switch. Um, images. So we have to find some images. Well, maybe it's just named Linux Mint, and it is. So here we have here the, the name of the file. Let's take a look at this one. No, yeah, this one. So we have here Linux, Linux Mint 1, 2, 3, 4. There are no extensions behind it. You can't use its extensions like Ubuntu and so on. So where do we change it? Here is the Linux Mint that is shown now. Let's change it to, I don't know, to Ubuntu or something. Uh, like I said, I'll add some more. Ubuntu underscore one, why not? It's just an exercise. So take a last look, that's our logo. And then Ubuntu underscore one. We can type it, or as you can see, you can get rid of those and then put one in front of here. That would be the proper way to go. So we keep this text here, minus minus, and then like so, save it, and then watch the system change to another logo. So it's that simple, but it's quite specific. You need to go into this main Lua, which is gibberish at first, but it's in here somewhere, and it's here, line 130. Enjoy your conky here.